It's Cracking Peeps, T Money back at you. It's been a long time since I shot a video in this position. I'm feeling right. I'm feeling like it's the right time. I'm not doing them as frequently because I don't have time. It's summer. The fucking weather's nice. Honestly, I'd rather be outside swimming and fucking, you know, that kind of shit than uh, being cooped up in the dungeon watching movies, even though I'm still doing my thing. So, yeah, I got quite a few things to show you, mostly Blu rays, a couple DVDs. So, let's get right down to fucking business. Yeah, edit goes here. Boom. Something cool happens there. Boom. Just kidding. All right. First up, the cellar door. I got this at used at FYE. Sorry, guys. I got a lot of energy. Fucking, um, I don't know. I'm just feeling good. I don't know where to look, though. Is that the camera or is that the camera? I don't know. I'm just going to look in the middle, kind of, or pretend that I'm not looking at anything. Um, yeah, I'm just feeling good, though. I'm feeling... It's the weekend, you know, it's been a long week. All drama aside, I'm just ready to chill, get loose, and fucking kick it. Watch some movies and chill tonight, so. Um, let's get down to, to business. So we have the cellar door, because this is going to be a long one. The cellar door. Don't know much about it, but this was used at FIA. It's in horrible condition, mangled. The disc itself is clean. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. It says, the girl next door isn't there anywhere. Um... Belongs on the shelf next to all the other good new horror movies like Saw, Slither, and Open Water. It's way above Hostel. Ooh, so maybe it is good. We'll have to give this one a shot. The Cellar Door, maybe we'll watch this tonight. Alright, next up is a double release from Retro Media. Um, we have Monstrosity and Teenage Zombies. Believe it or not, I've never seen either one of these films. Um, you could probably believe that, considering I haven't gotten around to seeing a lot of them. But um, I popped in Monstrosity the other night. It is black and white, which is fine. I just didn't know that. Um, but I fell asleep, so I thought I'd give it another shot. Um, but yeah, nice little double feature. You can get this on Amazon for like 12 bucks, I think. Um, if you're interested, maybe 14 which is kind of pricey for a DVD. But support Retro Media, man. They're a good company. I think it's Fred and Ray's affiliate or something. Um, next up is a film I never had before, believe it or not. Cabin Fever 2. I've seen it. I actually enjoyed it. I thought it was gross and fun. Um... So, yeah, I got this at FYE for like three bucks. Why not? Cabin Fever 2. And yeah, the Blu ray's going for like 25 bucks, 30 bucks. It must be like long out of print or something. A limited release. But so, yeah, I was happy to grab that. Uh, this is a film by Debbie Rashawn. I watched it. I actually kind of enjoyed it. Um, Model Hunger. Not bad for her directorial debut, um, I will say. It sounded scripted, but it wasn't. I promise. Um, but yeah, good movie. I liked it. Uh, check it out. Next up is a full moon, full moon feature, Skullheads. Um, this was pretty bad. I started watching this the other night. I wasn't really feeling it. I like Charles Band and Code Red for the I mean, Code Red. Not Code Red. Um, full Moon, for the most part. Full Moon features are fun. But this one, Skullheads, eh, I don't know. It was kind of bad. But anyway, happy to have it, I guess. Um, so this is a cool new series, Pop Art. So... As you guys know, I have, or if you don't know, I reached 101 subscribers now, so yeah, um, I have 100 subscribers on YouTube, and so there's going to be a giveaway contest coming up soon, and this right here will be one of the prizes, this is Psycho Pop Art, I'll explain why in a minute, but this is actually a pretty cool release, um, I didn't know that they had it, and then it was at FYE, and it caught my eye, and I was like, what the hell is this? And I have so many releases of Psycho, but this is a nice slipcase. It's kind of... Pop Art is, I think, just kind of like a collectible series that they're making, like, all different kinds of films from all different genres. Um, and they're just kind of putting nice artwork, nice little uh, collaborate collaborations, um, nice bonus features on here. Uh, collaborations, that didn't make any sense. What I meant to say is they put nice features, nice artwork together, and just making nice little releases of uh, classic films, essentially, I think is what it is. So, so anyway, yeah, this is going to be in the contest, so look out for that as a prize. Alright, and I think pretty much everything else I have is Blu-ray, so let's get right down to business. Uh, we'll start off with the Criterion sale. So, Barnes & Noble has their annual 50% um, um, uh, off sale, so I picked up three classic movies. Uh, the Devil's Backbone, haven't seen this, Guillermo del Toro, heard it's amazing. I actually posted a picture when I got back from... Um, the day I purchased these at Barnes and everybody was like, uh, oh yeah, all those movies are gold, man. So yeah, happy to have The Devil's Backbone. Can't wait to check that out. Supposedly really good. Um, and another classic, uh, black and white film, Diabolique. And Videodrome. Now this is going to be probably another prize in my giveaway because I picked this up at used at FYE for $13.99 and with my 10% off, 
uh, coupon that I have. It was like 11.50 or something. I already have it, but I couldn't pass it up for that price. It's a nice release, and uh, I had you guys in mind for the contest, so because I'm generous like that. So uh, that'll be one of the prizes. Video drum from Criterion. Um, and last up from the Criterion sale, um, all those were from the sale except for Video Drum. I got that at FYE for sale prices. Or like a sale price. Godzilla, happy to have this. Didn't know Criterion had a release of this. So. Um, Alright, so we'll get into just some of the generic titles here. We have um, Inheritance. I have this on DVD. I actually like this movie. I thought it was pretty good. I like the snowy setting. Uh, it's about a family that goes to, like, a, um, I think a mansion or something and or to, to their family's estate uh, to see their inheritance in the dead of winter and um, it ties all kinds of like slavery, ghosts, all kinds of stuff into it and it's pretty gruesome, not, not ghosts, but uh, I liked it a lot, um, inheritance, so picked it up on Blu-ray, paid a little bit too much for it to be honest, but that's okay. Uh, next up, I've heard a lot of people talk about this one. Honestly, I'm kind of getting bored of like go like dramatic pussy ghost story movies, uh, I guess like Catholic um, slash just like uh what do you call it uh, mainstream ghost movies but um it has the woman from um the walking dead in it who i like actually speaking of mainstream but but anyway i've heard it's decent so when i'm in the mood for a ghost movie which will probably be never or a while from now i will watch this uh next up grab this used at fye creature from the black lagoon classic just had to have it on blu-ray love the artwork always have but um happy to have this release Another one from Something Weird Video, uh, Basket Case. I can't wait till Synapse releases part two and three on the on Blu-ray. Um, I do have the DVDs, but wanted to grab this, been meaning to, and um, it popped up on my Things You Would Like thing the other day, and I was like, fuck, yeah, I do need to grab this. So happy to finally have that. Uh, next up is one from Shout Factory, Death Wish 2. And I actually have like a three-pack uh, of Charles Bronson. It's called the Triple Threat Pack on Blu-ray. It comes with two, three, and four of the Death Wish series. I mean, I realized I didn't have the first one, so I just ordered that today. Um, but, yeah, I haven't seen this movie, but I'm sure this is a pretty solid release from Shout Factory. So um, I like that artwork, too. Classic. Um, just like retro-style 80s classic stuff. So happy to have Death Wish 2 from uh, Shout Factory. Uh, next up is one that I purchased from an online seller from the Cult Media um, trading website or whatever, or Facebook page. Um, I love that, man. I've been scoring a lot of good stuff from guys on there. So shout out to whoever I bought this from. You're probably not watching my video anyway. I forget your name. But uh, yeah, Metropolis, brand new sealed. It says $22.99. I got it for like, I don't know, I don't, like 10 bucks maybe. Maybe a little more. But I'm um, happy to have it. Metropolis. From Kino Lorber. So the reason why I was going to give away that Psycho DVD is because I did pick up the Psycho Blu-ray from the Pop Art series, so that's why. Um, from Shout Factory, or Scream Factory, I'm sorry, Scream Factory, Session 9, I actually just got this in the mail today. So happy to have this, like this film, um, and yeah, it's cool. Alrighty, uh, let's see. Continuing on, we have a new release from, a semi-new release from Vinegar Syndrome. P.D. Wheatstraw, awesome, happy to have this, this completes my, um, um, whatchamacallit, Rudy Ray Moore trilogy collection or whatever, uh, with the Human Tornado and Dolomite, so happy to have P.D. Wheatstraw. Uh, next up is another William Castle double feature, I picked up the Mr. Sardonicus and, uh, Kidnapped, was it? No, um, something else, uh, but double feature, but this is 13 Ghosts. And uh, 13 Frightened Girls. But I'm really excited for 13 Ghosts. I remember watching this with my dad a lot as a kid. One of my favorites, uh, black and white flicks. Uh, so, yeah, excited for that. You can get that nice and cheap on Amazon, too. It's a Mill Creek release, but fuck it. Hey. Um, I don't know why I picked this one up, but I did. Sorority Babes and Slime Ballarama. I actually did hear that the. No, I didn't. I'm thinking of something else. I did pick up the uh, 88 Films edition of this as well which comes with a nice slip, and I compared them, and I actually do believe that the 88 Films version does have a few more special features than this one. could be wrong, but I think I remember reading that. So, just a heads up, not sure how the transfers compare, because I haven't checked it out yet, but new from Full Moon, Sorority Babes, and the Slime Bolorama. Um, one I saw the guys talking about in the group, um, shout out to Retro Slasher, I think you're the one who mentioned this dude, Moonstalker, so I went and scooped this up, um, like a copycat. Um, new from Legless uh, Corpse Entertainment is the Death Score Service Blu-ray. I have the DVD as well. That may go into the competition. I'm not sure yet. 
want to get rid of it though, regardless, so why not? Death score surface sport service. Nasty movie, man. Um doo -doo -doo. we have this. Yes, this. Five miles to midnight. New uh, Anthony Perkins or Kino Lorber release with Anthony Perkins in it. Don't know much about it, but yeah. I bought it anyway. Because I like those kind of movies. Um, <laughs> that sounds so lame. Um, also, I did get the um, Bloodshock, or yeah, the uh, the second um, American Guinea Pig film, but I don't know where it is in this jungle. And I didn't pull it out for this pile, so I just wanted to mention that. That's something else that I got. Um, Alright, and so I got the invitation from DiabolicDVD.com. Haven't watched this yet, but I've heard pretty decent things. Uh, it says, this is how a twist ending is done, as chilling as it is perfect, Entertainment Weekly. Heard mixed reviews on this one, but happy to have it. It's a pretty thick, solid release, too. Definitely nice. Um, and two from Scream Factory, we have finally picked up Return of the Living Dead. I actually missed the boat on the uh, the whole double um, slipcover posters thing, So, but I'm happy to have this. I love this movie. Um, and I did watch this up and down. I watched all the special features, many of which I had seen before, but um, from the um, UK release. But happy to have this. Happy to have this. Invasion of the Body Snatchers. I do have the other release of that. The more generic one. All right, uh, a couple crappy titles here. Well, not crappy, but just cheapies. Uh, Forbidden Planet. I got this at Barnes and Noble. The day I hit up the Criterion sale, this was on sale for nine ninety nine. This is actually a classic, so happy to have that. Forbidden Planet. Uh, T2, um, the Skynet edition, the cheap edition, uh, just another version of this on Blu-ray, I love this movie, it's one of my favorites, so I wanted to grab it, I do have like the original T2 Blu-ray that first came out, so I think this one is newer, I don't know if the print is updated or anything, but for the price I got that one at FYE for a couple bucks, why not? Um, so this is a new one from Adam Albrandt, Hunters, finally picked this up, happy to have it, pretty nasty film, um, it's his first film, and, um, yeah. It says, uh, Hunters is the unrelenting tale of two sadistic, uh, cinephile brothers who abduct their victims in the rural woods of Pennsylvania. They torture, objectify, and humiliate their victims, leaving them stripped of any trace of humanity. So it's a pretty brutal film. You have to have that brutal, um, um, you have to be into that kind of shit, so, yeah. You've been warned. Um, this one, Satan's Little Helper, happy to have this on Blu-ray. I removed the $3 sticker, I shouldn't have, but it was too painful, because I bid for this on Amazon, and honestly, I ended up paying, like, $22 for it, which is kind of insane, considering this was probably in, like, a Walmart bin for, well, it was $3 at Walmart, but I guess it was a pretty limited, like, print run, because it, it came and went without anybody really knowing about it, I feel like, and, and now it's essentially impossible to find at Walmart, especially around here, so I'm happy I won the bidding war, I know this is the cut TV version, but fuck it, it's a Blu-ray, love this movie. Alrighty, getting down to the end here, guys. Um, we have Messenger of Death, Charles Bronson. This is an 88 Films release. Uh, newer one. Can't wait to watch this. Um, I watched Invasion USA the other night. I'm kind of on an 80s kick lately, so like a cheesy action 80s kick. And so I've been um, stocking up on the good shit. So Messenger of Death, nice uh, release from 88 Films. Love those black cases. And new, brand new from 88 Films, their release of The Dead Next Door. Now this is not as good, I repeat, not as good as the release that was put out by Tempe Entertainment, I believe, which is uh, Book Walt Jared Bookwalter's like company, I think, who who directed this, produced it, and everything. He's everything behind this film. So, but this wasn't bad. You know, I wanted it for collective purposes. Now, pending is a as a trade I'm going to be doing. I think with Toddy Walnuts for this. So I'm not. I can't say I'm going to give this away because I think we're going to be trading for that. But if something happens and it doesn't go through, you might see it on the contest. Um, you might not. Just uh, just just throwing that out there. Toddy Walnuts hit me up if you still want to trade for this man. Because I accidentally ordered two. Alrighty, in the last little stack we have here, guys, we have a few Code Reds, Nightfall. I had told you in the last video that it was waiting for these to come, so, um... I also have ordered since uh, Mardi Gras Massacre and um, Maniac something about a killer uh, American Indian. Um, and those are coming. Those aren't here yet. But this is Nightfall, sci-fi goodness. Um, we have Headhunters. I started watching this the other night, and then I was on the Facebook chat, and they were, like, going off about how shitty it was, and I wasn't really seeing what I was liking, so I was like, fuck it, I took it out, but, uh, yeah, whatever. I, that cover's fucking brutal, and the fact that that thing 
that thing eats people's heads and beheads people, I mean, it's a fucking headhunter, is cool to me. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. So I'm going to give it a shot. I promise. Um, and we have Family Honor. Family Honor. I forget what he says, but in every single fucking Code Red DVD, you have the Family Honor trailer. I, oh, I wish I knew what that New York sounding guy in the uh, trailer always says. He goes, uh, something about Family Honor, I forget. But yeah, there he is, and this is it. And um, apparently, I don't know if this was ever released on Code Red DVD, but it made it to Blu-ray, and there it is. And, um, yeah. I was, I keep thinking of what that guy, I can't remember what he says, but I swear to God, it's on like 70% of the Code Red DVD trailers before the film comes on. This. Next up is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful steelbook I picked up from an online seller in the cult page. We have the... Beyond, Lucio Fulci, and I also managed to pick up City of the Living Dead with that, which I think I showed you guys uh, in my last update, which was fucking awesome as well. Um, so yeah, just really happy to have this, trying to go back and collect as much arrow goodness as possible that's out of print, steelbooks included, not limited to, but included, the Beyond, beautiful edition. Alright guys, getting down to the wire here, a couple more from Arrow, we have Satan's Blade, Happy to have this because I heard that this is this transfer is way better than the Olive films. Haven't seen this one yet, have watched the Olive films, so I'll be interested to compare. But, um, you know, I buy everything from Arrow, especially if it's a slasher movie. So, happy to have that one. And we have Crimes of Passion. I finally picked this one up from Arrow as well. Beautiful release. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful release. Neon colors that light up. It's just fucking pretty. And it's got that, like... Uh, I forget the material of the slip, but it's kind of like, it's like, it's non-matter, uh, it's not shiny, the opposite of shiny, whatever you call that. kind of looks shiny, but it's not. It's like a weird, weird, unique texture. Anyway, last up, we have Tenebre, Dario Gento, Auto Films, Sexy, another release I got from an online seller. Um, so yeah, sped through this like a mofo because I don't really have a lot of time. It's the weekend, I'm ready to get back, get fucked up and chill. So yeah, just being real. Um, so yeah, guys, have a good weekend. Happy to be back and I'm um, happy to be shooting videos. I uh, hope everybody is doing well and we will see you in a few weeks. All right. Peace. Keep it horror, motherfuckers. Keep it horror.